Hey guys, Pixie here and I'm doing a Photoshop tutorial on changing the depth of field of a photograph in Photoshop. Just as a scooter rides past outside anyway, I hope you didn't hear that too badly. Um, so this is the original image, it's pretty boring, and this is the image after I'm done processing it. Now I'm not going to do the full thing here, all I'm going to do is show you uh, a little bit of painting with light and shadow and how to change the depth of field. If you look in this image on the left, it's all in focus, and on the image on the right, this bit down here is blurry. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. First thing we need to do is duplicate our background layer. So just drag that layer down to the new layer button and it makes a copy. Then go to filter, blur, add a Gaussian blur as strong as you like. I'm not going to make it too strong. Let's go there. And then this little grey button down here, we add a layer mask. The layer mask in white is opaque, so it shows the uh, filter you've applied. And if we invert it, oops, wrong button, if we invert it, the blur is still there, but uh, it's made the layer transparent, so it's obscured with the blur, so you can't see the blur now. What we're going to do is paint on the bits we want blurred, so select the brush tool, and pick a, from the basic brushes, pick a fuzzy brush. You see the ones at the top are solid, and the ones at the bottom are fuzzy. So let's pick the 300 brush. And we're going to paint on the areas we want blurred. Uh, we're painting on in white. So remember, this is in black. The layer mask is in black. And we're painting on in white to show the blur through. And if I just uh, make my brush opacity 100. So that's blurring the image down here. Now I'm going to put a, a gradual blur on. So I'm got my brush opacity at 100 for this bit, and then I'm going to drop it down to 50. Make the brush a bit bigger, so that the, the blur blends more gradually as it comes closer to the camera. Just makes it look a little bit more natural. And then sharpening up this wall here, drop the brush size down, change it to black, so you're obscuring the blur now and just uh, paint down the edges here. I'm just doing this very roughly. You can be more precise in your own pictures. So we've got the wall in focus and you can just touch up any little bits that you need to. So just swap back and forth black and white depending on whether you want to show the blur or hide the blur and change your brush, brush opacity at the top to have a, a different strength blurs showing through. So that's how it looks. And the other thing I said I was going to show you was painting with shadows and light. So if I merge these layers down here, let's go to brightness contrast. Change the brightness down and make it a little bit more contrasty. Um, I'll invert this layer. Control I is the hotkey for that to uh, hide it and then I'm going to keep the opacity low and paint on some shadow so we've made the the background image darker and hidden it so now we're going to paint in the dark bits again so let's make this whole wall down here darker because that's down the side street and there should be less light down there and let's make this foreground area a bit darker and the pavement's kind of light, so let's make this darker, which will add in a little bit more contrast too. So that's uh, pretty subtle, but already the picture looks more interesting. Now if I merge these layers, which is Control e uh, do the same thing again, brightness, contrast, but turn the brightness up this time invert the layer to hide it, so now we're going to paint with light instead, so now you pick the areas that you want to be lighter for example this little guy, we can make him lighter we can make the sign lighter, we can make this sign brighter we can make this guy brighter, we can stand out a little bit we can make the glass and the lamps a little bit brighter uh, make the scooter brighter find the uh, patches of wall that look like they're receiving natural light and just touch them up a little bit. Uh, 
And that's pretty much it. So you can do a lot of things with layer masks. And just remember, if you've got the mask in black, it hides what you've done to the layer. And if you put it in, in white, it shows what you've done to the layer. And always pick the opposite color brush to paint on to show the effect through. And change your opacity to show the effect in different strengths. So, hope that was easy enough to follow. Thanks for watching. Bye!